Welcome to 5 Minute Physics. This video is an introduction to energy stores and pathways. First, a definition. You'll hear the term system being used when we talk about energy. A system is just an object or a group of objects. A phone charging, two colliding snooker balls, or a boiling kettle are all examples of systems. So what is energy? You won't be asked this in an exam, but it helps to have some idea what we're talking about. A good way of explaining it is to imagine that energy is the money of physics. The amount of money you have determines what you can and can't do. So, say I've got three pounds. Looking at this menu, I could buy some chips or a burger, but I couldn't buy a steak, I'd need more money. So, let's switch to physics mode. Imagine a model rocket has 5,000 joules in its chemical store. Joules are what we measure energy in, as you might know. With the right calculations, we might work out that 5,000 joules is enough energy to make it fly 15 meters into the air. If we want our rocket to fly 30 meters, we're clearly going to need more energy. 5,000 joules isn't enough. So, the amount of energy we have available determines what can and can't be done. Energy exists in different stores inside a system. Again, it behaves a bit like money. Some of my money is in my wallet, some is in my bank account, and some is down the back of my sofa. I can move my money between these three stores, for example, by taking money out of my bank account or having a route around behind my sofa cushions. But notice these two things. Number one, the total amount of money doesn't change, it's only where it's stored. And number two, wherever that money ends up, it's still the same stuff, it's just in a different store. Energy behaves exactly the same, but now there are eight different stores it can be moved between. These are kinetic, in moving objects, chemical, in chemicals that could react together, elastic, in materials which are squashed or stretched, thermal, in warm objects, nuclear, within atoms, and gravitational, electrostatic, and magnetic. These last three depend on what an object is made from and where it is, within a gravitational, electric, or magnetic field. The four stores underlined have some associated calculations you'll need to be able to do, but don't worry, we'll cover these in another video. Energy in a kinetic store is no different to energy in a chemical store, and we can move energy from one store to another. This happens via pathways, and there are four of these. Mechanical, through forces. Electrical, using electric currents. Heating, because of a temperature difference. And radiation, using light or other electromagnetic waves. So let's look at how this works then. Imagine a catapult ready to fire a ball. Our system here is made up of the catapult and the ball. Our energy starts out in the elastic store within the catapult. When it's fired, the energy is transferred along the mechanical pathway. Most of it will go into the kinetic store of the ball, but some will go into the thermal store of the catapult. The elastic will warm up a little bit. Now, imagine we fired that ball straight up. As it gets higher, it will slow down until, at the maximum height, it stops for just a split second. In this example, energy would have started in the kinetic store of the ball. As it moves upwards, the ball changes position in the Earth's gravitational field. So energy is transferred, via the mechanical pathway, to the gravitational store until there's nothing left in the kinetic store. And then, as the ball falls back down again, getting faster and faster, energy is moved back into the kinetic store, again via the mechanical pathway. You can see other examples like this in our other videos. So, to summarise, a system is a group of objects or an object. The amount of energy in a system determines which changes can be made to it. Energy can exist in eight different stores, and energy is moved between these stores by one of four pathways. Thanks for watching this 5 minute physics video. Please check out our other videos covering GCSE physics in simple 5 minute lessons.